welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Esper Duplicate. So we are a quasi-duplicate deck with our Esper colors. If you don't know quasi-duplicate, it is where we can create a token that's a copy of target creature you control. So we are going to be copying our creatures. And if that's the case, we're going to want some good value creatures. Not too much better than Hostage Taker and Chupacabra, Raven's Chupacabra, for removal spells that we get to copy. So, you know, we play a Chupacabra, kill our opponent's creatures. You know how that's pretty devastating. Well, if you untap and then you quasi-duplicate it and kill another creature, and the next turn you jumpstart your quasi-duplicate, kill another creature, it's pretty devastating. Uh, be besides those, if we want to add in some more removal, we got Deputy Detention in here as well. And if, they, if they're not playing a bunch of creatures, they're not playing things for us to remove, we got Kite Sail Freebooter. So we can check out their hand, see if they're playing a bunch of spells on turn two. And this curves really nicely into Quasi-Duplicate that we can have on turn three also. Uh, besides that, we just have some other good value creatures to uh, copy. Everybody knows how good Thief of Sanity is. So it's better than one Thief of Sanity is having multiple Thief of Sanities and just, you know... <laughs> You know, if your first Thief of Sandy is already good, if you get to untap with it, make another, and so on. Or Seraph of the Scales. This thing is maybe one of my favorites. Play a Seraph of the Scales and start copying these. Seraph is already just a devastatingly powerful creature. And with, like, the afterlife and everything, if you just have a bunch of Seraph of the Scales out, whew, that is tough. So besides that, we have uh, some Teferis, just because, you know, Teferi is just awesome. Um, Lazav can copy... Some of your other things, like Lazav, you can you can have Lazav turn into another Thief of Sanity or turn into a Seraph of the Scales, anything like that. It can just kind of do some stuff. I just like it as like a, another two mana play, basically. Want to keep the curve a little low. It's kind of same with these Seeker Squires that just they just do a little bit exploring. Uh, you can mill over a quasi duplicate if you're lucky, um, but you know helps you hit your land drops. And of course, Tithe Taker, another strong card. So we are. We are um, a deck that's trying to grind out the opponent, basically, with a whole lot of two-for-one uh, and small creatures. So uh, we'll see how it works. We've, we've had a pretty good amount of success with this deck in the past. Um, let's go ahead and, and try it out again, see how it goes. Espa Duplicate. We are we we do take a very long time to win usually, or like you know when you're just attacking for two, a bunch, it does take a while to win. But that's okay. Okay. Hey, CEO. Happy Thursday. Yeah, we were just talking about the the set review that we're doing tomorrow from 3 to 10 Eastern time, normal stream time. And then Saturday, we're going to be doing a 12-hour stream. We're doing a 12-hour stream because we hit the Harry's referral goal at 40 Harry's referrals, which we had some other ones. It turned out we're at 47 right now going towards our next referral goal there. So that's going to be from noon to midnight Eastern time on Saturday. I'm just going to be playing against playing against y'all, playing against subscribers all day. Hmm. Freebooter's good, but I also really want land. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the graveyard. All right, King Toll, have a good night. So Grixis decks usually do have a, a decent amount of creatures. Nicol Bolas, Thief of Sanity, Rekindling Phoenix, Hostage Taker. 
So like, you know, like these aren't dead cards. It's not like we're playing against Esper Control or, or something like where they don't have any creatures. All right, definitely like drawing the land. <laughs> yeah, Freebooter does not kill people very quickly. I wish I would have had that last turn. Months in a row. You are amazing. Thank you so much. We can go ahead and just get rid of the hostage taker, I guess, because we're not going to really have the mana to play hostage taker and recast the the stuff. And maybe I should keep the land in hand there to be able to discard to another nickel bolus. No, not Lava Coil. Boo. That exiles. And even if it's just in the graveyard, we can have Lazav uh, copy Seraph in the graveyard. Whoa, two Ritual of Sets? Um... You sure showed me. At least to draw three. They do have enough for a Bedevil plus a Ritual. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to use both those cards on a Seraph. They would be able to if they wanted to. Think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. This ought to be good. Dang. That's unfortunate, so I don't get to quasi-duplicate the Seraph now. Hmm. Then you repeat the experiment. I guess I'm just going to use this right now. Because, you know, if I wait, they can, like, bedevil at it, you know, at instant speed to, to respond. We just have, you know, more more things, like, where if they just Ritual of Soot, they don't stay alive. You know, like, we're just making them 
cast multiple cards here. So keeping the land in hand to be able to discard. Hostage Shaker is not... Is, this is not a May. I would have to. So I'd have to exile one of the two tokens. I want to keep the tokens there. And... Make them do that. Alright, here comes Seraph and Thief. Seraph is a great draw like always. Man, Seraph of the Scales is so good. Oh, yeah. I guess we could have just gone Thief and then... Actually, that last turn, and then just hostage take to the thief. So we could have done that. Alright, that Midnight Reaper was clutch. I want another one of those. I want another Teferi. I think I don't really want deputies or freebooters. That does take out my two mana cards. I think I'd rather just have, like, duresses or negates instead of freebooters. Oh, Disdainful Stroke's got to be great, right? So we'll have a couple of those. And maybe take the Lazav out. Oh, Quasi Duplicate usually. I usually like taking out Quasi Duplicate and removal heavy matches because oh, we talked about like with the instant speed. So maybe we have some duresses and a couple mortifies. Or this a Johnny? We get this little Zav back in. <laughs> what makes Seraph so strong is the question. Uh, so, it's it's a it's a big body, you know, four power flyer for four mana. So it kills the opponent pretty quickly unless they answer it. But whenever they answer it and trade it card for card, you're still left with two powers, still left with two other 1-1 one, one bodies. So it gets to trade for a card plus leave behind two more bodies that need that re require answers also. You know, whether it's a sweeper like that or... Um, or you know other removal spells, we saw. Like we saw that game that that second we had one seraph got. I'm just gonna shock in here. One seraph got uh, lava coiled. That one didn't do so good for us. But then the second one, they were able to like they had to play a row to and they minus the the row on it and then the one one tokens killed the killed the row. And then later on, those 1-1 one, one tokens dealt two damage to them, and then they had to use a ritual set on those one, just those 1-1 one, one tokens. And Seraph artwork is awesome. That is true. All right, well, opponent had the best card they could. It's not a bad card. Spell. Ah, dang. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so I'll just replace the 2-3 two, with the 2-3. Two, okay. Or not. Oh, I should keep that I should keep that land in hand to discard to a bolus. I I need to keep that land in hand. Come on, Seraph. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There you go. They're like, this card's really good. Do we actually want to give you this card? I don't know. This card's really good. Tilt. Alright, and we draw another Teferi. Alright, gonna keep that in hand. Down to six. Oh, maybe they have direfully Daredevil. They're looking at like what's in my graveyard. Ah, there's a set. We're just playing four mana two threes over here. I mean, it trades with a removal spell, you know. Couldn't just wait one more turn. I feel like they were holding that bolus for a long time. Star of Extinction. Here not... be monsters. That's not necessarily game. They said good game. Your yeah, they steal this. They just they have to find kingdom. Chupacabra. But if they hit a Chupacabra, they can, you know, kill my hostage taker. They have a blocker. Oh, but no, but then I have my own Chupacabra. Never mind. Alright, yeah, it's it's kinda game. Pretty impressive show in there for Esper Duplicate. Um, actually, I don't know. That might have been my discard deck. No, it was not. They had they had main deck Rao, so it was not it was not my seventy five at least. They had main deck Rao. I think that was the only main deck card we really saw that was different, though. Stomp, stomp, stomp the ground. Jun stuff. Jun stuff's exciting. We got we drew the into the thief, so let's go freebooter instead of squire, uh, so we can see if we have <laughs> see if our thief is protected. Uh, spoiler: it is not. So I guess I go Squire next turn. Not really a reason to play a Thief into a Shock. Yeah, let's go Squire here.
And they even have Angrath to Seal Thief. That's annoying. Hey, what's up, Frodo? With the second month in a row for that sub. Thank you so much. Getting the sub battle countdown down to 81. So, I could certainly see them shocking the Chupacabra here. Okay, they did not. I was going to say, I could have seen them doing that untapping, play land, play Angrath, steal the Squire, hit me for four, be able to have Angrath. Available. Yeah, I could have done that. All right, let's go... <clears throat> let's go Sarah for the skills first. I don't really want to play Thief and let them steal Thief with Angrath. That doesn't sound like a, a pleasant experience. So they steal one thief, we can block with the other thief. Uh, <laughs> what a draw. Oh, the third shock. Oh man, what a draw. <laughs> Your crew from hey, Brando. <laughs> a fair price. Thanks for that, Twitch Prime sub. All right, so whatever they took, Whatever they took, it's better than two lands, you know, which you obviously can't take a land, so they just took, like, whatever the other card was. Still quasi-duplicate gets to make some more thieves. Maybe they bricked. Maybe it was three lands. It's possible it was no three fire, lands. I mean, that's two no lands. Steel. Maybe it was a third land and they drew a land? Ugh. Phoenix. Ooh. Okay. I'm at six. All right, what? Well, I, I have to send one thief at Angrath just to kill. Well, wait. Actually, no, I don't. If they want to block and keep Angrath alive, then the Phoenix is gone. So that's good. Make all sail for high and dry. Love it. Get out of here, Phoenix. All right, is Thievus Andy gonna steal this game? Hawk, are we stealing this game? We did. We stole the game. Quasi duplicate. Quasi duplicating those Thievus Andes, pretty clutch. Pretty clutch. Seems like a decent Midnight Reaper. Matchup and Teferi. I don't think this is really a freebooter matchup. I think in this matchup, Duress is probably going to be better than freebooter again. And let's go. Let's go Duress over 
All right, let's go with this disdainful stroke. Yeah, a couple of those. I guess they may struggle with Lyra Dawnbringer. We didn't really see hard removal spells. We just saw like a lot of shocks. Oh, they're they're chain whirler combo, aren't they? They're like mono red splash chain whirler combo. Down, down. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to play Thief in this matchup. The Chain Whirler combo is Status Statue to go along with Chain Whirler. Uh, if you play a Chain Whirler with the trigger on the stack to do one damage to every uh, creature the opponent controls, you can then cast a Status, which is a card that is black or a green. Uh, it's split. You can pay either one black or one green to give a creature you control Death Touch. I think it gives plus one plus one also, but the important thing is that it gives death touch. So you can give death touch to your chain whirler, and so that that one damage that it does across the table uh, is all death touch. So it kills all, it just wipes your entire battlefield. Didn't really like drawing the second Dawnbringer here. Sample stroke coming through clutch. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty mean. Tomorrow's stream from normal time, 3 to 10. Going through all the cards in the set, talking about them in standard. Please don't kill my Dawnbringer. What? I guess they forgot about first strike. So many phoenixes. Did not have an answer to Lyra. And that's game. All right, so 2 and 0. Oh. The deck's been working pretty well. What do you think, Hawkeye? Oh, you're off the screen. It's your big bell. Oh, was I muted? 
I just realized I was like muted. At least I think I was. Have, have I been muted for a little while? Oh, that's gonna feel like Hawkeye Cam more than Todd Cam. So it looks like Wilderness Reclamation. That would have been great to have Thief of Sanity on a turn three. But it looks like we're going to have Thief on turn four on the draw. That's that's pretty slow. Is it better to even play Sarah for the scales here? Yeah, both. Draw some cards. Don't get countered. No, yeah, I made I made a couple of different changes to this deck before playing it today. Uh, basically, I used to have four deputy detentions in the main deck, and I took out two of those for the two Teferis in the main. That was the biggest change. And sideboard, I changed like two cards. I added the Teferi and the Ajani. Yeah, that's right. I added the Teferi and the Ajani to the sideboard instead of uh, the Immortal Sun. I know. Hold that thought. No, I don't have any counter spells in the main you know deck. What? I'm not done yet. We are a heavy creature removal deck to start game one with. We have kite sail freebooters though. That's a good card for next turn. We can freebooter plus quasi duplicate it. Double freebooter. That's a good card for us. Wow. The opponent must have just had a horrible, horrible draw. They just didn't do anything. Welcome back, Birds, for the fourth month in a row. Thank you, Birds. Thank you very much. So, Hostage Shaker is going to be out. And uh, Midnight Reaper, Lazav, Squire. Quasi duplicate. Bring a squire back. 
Or that a Squire or Lazav? Probably Squire. Lazav can copy Thief. Really, Shafty? There's not too many cards you're super pumped about? There looks to be just so many cards to play in the set, but if you're not a big fan of Planeswalkers, then I could see not being too excited for the set, because it does seem like, you know, so much of the set are just Planeswalkers. Well, our mana's good. I like Disdainful Stroke and good mana, but Teferi and Chupacabras are just kind of not worth it. Hey, DJ Polly B. Freebooter. Whew. Shiv and fire, coil, coil, huh? That's how we got to play this. Well, time to start making our way through these removal spells. Making our way through these removal spells. Uh, computer has been disappointing today. I'd have to say. Um, updated graphics card. Was hoping... Was hoping that was going to do, you know, really help with the lag issues, but it has not. What's the plan with Oketra? That's a good question. Oketra is a... That's a good card. Yes, have cleaned dust from inside the PC. Uh, did that not too long ago. It's in game also. Yeah, it's in game and on stream. Oh, of course. Oh man, I forgot about Mowu. Ah, uh, Mowu is awesome. They're down to one card. I like our chances with this Thief of Sandy against one card. Because we have one card of protection for it. Thanks, Rex. Yeah, so Ketra, five mana... 3-6 double strike when you, every time you play a creature. There we go. Every time you play a creature, you make a 4-4. Four, four. So, like, we're going to want to, like, play a lot of creatures, but then also have a 5 mana. So, like, we want a lot of cheap creatures, but then we also want the 5 mana creature. It's possible that Oketra is just good enough you don't need a lot of cheap creatures. You know, you still spend, like, after you play a catcher, you still play, like, whatever, four mana creature. 
or other five mana creature and you just make another four four like that's just awesome like you don't i don't think you need to like play oketra and then try to combo off or whatever and play like three or four creatures immediately afterwards We're on the draw, maybe. I don't think I really like this on the play. Hmm. I think I want mana. Um, how does this deck do against white or red aggro? It's... It's okay, but it's not perfect. Having a bunch of Chupacabras, Hostage Takers, and even Deputy Detentions do some really good things for you, though. And, uh... So here we go. We Looks like we're playing against uh, Mono White Splash Blue. So we can kind of see how it does here. Let's... Copy this, so if they want to attack, we have two blockers. Is there a way for me to check my CPU temperature right now? And remember, we do have we do have the quasi duplicates copy of this chupacabra also. Do that, kill the Spendalish Marshal. I'd like to draw Hostage Shaker, um, Seraph, that kind of stuff. And I guess I trade the 2 3 for this. I don't really know what they're. Yeah, it's probably better than just taking four. Just trade the two, three for that. I don't really know why they're not attacking with Sky Marker Aspirant. Unless it's Venerated Luxodon right now is like the only reason. So yeah, that they had Venerated Luxodon. That's a really good draw. And we drew Hostage Taker. Speaking of really good draws. So, what do we want a hostage take? We can take the Luxodon. Could just take the flyer. I can tuck the flyer next turn, though. Kind of. Yeah, I, I can take that. So, let's go. Let's go, Luxodon. Grow our own things. And my 4-4 four four can block their 4-4. Four four. Oh, come on. There we go. Ooh, 
that's a good one. I think I'm gonna wait on that for some vampire tokens with this first four. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna late. first tuck this aspirant. You need to take a time out. Or maybe I'll take some night tokens. We'll see. We need to move quickly. We do need to move quickly. So not this turn, but the the next turn after this, they'll get their flyer back, which will be an annoying card. Okay. Now we get to bring in Dawnbringers. That should help us out. And Mortify. Cut Midnight Reaper. I think I want to trim it to Fairy. Maybe both Teferis. I do like how Teferi can, gets to talk like a Conclave Tribunal or something, though. Ah, Thief of Sanity. That card can, can kind of go. Yeah, we don't really need Thief of Sanity here. Yeah, that's fine. Death Cab was a Seattle band? Man, there's been so many good Seattle bands. Okay. I mean, I do like those two cards, but we can't just sit back and do nothing against a mono white opponent that kept their hand that quickly. Speaking of keeping the. I think, even though I want mana towards Lyra, I think quasi duplicating a, a deputy of attention sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. All right, what you got over here? Tribunal negate a Johnny. So I'll take Tribunal. Ow. And then... Take Benelish Marshall. Just taking all their stuff. And they don't play very much removal. These kind of cards are really good. No friend of mine fights alone. You are capable of more than you just have to beat a 3 2. Eventually. Ah, that, that will beat a 3 2. Was Yoink. not strong enough. I guess they will be able to negate my mortify, though. Man. 
That is that is impressing oppressive showing for Esper Duplicate so far. Four and O. Oh. And this deck is looking good. Four wins means that we are one win away from getting that, that five win dream. And what stands between us and that win is the final boss. So final boss playlist time. Let's see if we can finish this off. All right, good looking hand. All right, mono white again. So we can see how real was that last time we just faced mono white. So we're gonna be going with freebooter on two, deputy on three. Nope, not you. Take a history of Benalia. Tribunal. And they have Marshall and Luxodon. So, you know, Deputy something. Deputy something else. Yoink. Deputy attention in this matchup with Quasi Duplicate. Pretty nice. Ugh. That is not nice. Alright, so now I, I'm just going to deputy the. Uh, I probably should still just take the tokens, right? So like I could deputy the tribunal, get the freebooter back, take the take the other tribunal. But honestly, I should probably just take these two tokens cuz without those tokens it's really hard for them to cast venerate luxodon. They don't get to flip landing. That just makes all their other cards so much worse. It's like, yeah, that's that's a one one. Ooh. Now I take the tribunals. It's a good card to draw. It's just like two for one, two for one dot deck.
Hey, welcome back, Angel. Thanks to that Twitch Prime sub for the 14th month. Yet again. I think I want to wait... I'm just getting Thiefus Sanity in play right now. I think I want to wait on using the Quasi Duplicate uh, to kill the Benelish Marshal, basically. So it looks like they'll finally be able to flip Legion's Landing. If they would like. And Yud being on the five month streak as well. Gonna get that new tie next month. Thanks, Yud. Thanks for everything that you do for the stream. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should just. Maybe it's just time just to get a new PC completely. Let's get this Tithe Taker out of here. Kill the Luxodon. I don't really like making their. Don't want to make their attacks good. Just have all sorts of two for ones. And eventually, we have a whole lot of things, as you see there, and the opponent has not very many things. So I brought in two. Lyra's and two Mortifies, cut a Teferi, two Thieves, and a Midnight Reaper. That's what I did last time. And it worked out pretty well for us. So let's try that again. Yeah, they never found their third land. That long game. There are so many puppies everywhere, Hawkeye. Oh no, yeah. Takali is. That card is a huge problem. Admittedly. Uh, Theor with the sub for the third month in a row. Thank you so much. Hawkeye's getting that hype in here also. Thanks for that continued support there, that resub. 76. And, uh, all right, free boot time. Yeah, so now they play Marshall, we choop it. Yeah, having, having some better luck with the cards today, feeling better, playing better, all that kind of stuff. Still frustrated with the computer. Uh, I spent some time last night doing some stuff, and 
you know, like update the graphics card. Just, just hoping that that was going to be good enough for us, but. I, I was I was honestly just kind of talking there and just kind of was planning on playing the Chupacabra no matter what. I should have just mortified this history right then. But we we drew the quasi-duplicate. Wow. Wow, that is really good for... For me that I didn't use the mortify yet. I wish we had one more mana... We're about to take a huge hit here. But really glad I didn't use that Mortify. No, just up, just updated the, I guess the drivers, uh, not, I guess didn't get like a new graphics card. Sorry, just like updated it. It hadn't been updated since 2017. 14 puts us down to two. I do not know the... the brand stuff. There, yeah, what... what Yud said. Alright, so that gets on the Tribunal back. Tribunal can just take out one of these tokens. Why would you... The opponent should definitely just take out a token. Just gonna hold this thing back just in case. I... I guess I didn't need to. Okay. Well, our deck looked really, really good against Mono White. Uh, we we did have solid hands, for sure. But you know we won both of those matches against Mono White pretty convincingly. And there we go. Man, Esper Duplicate felt pretty strong. This is a good, this was a good deck. Uh, I liked the. You know, slight changes we made by adding in the Teferis. Um, and, yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, this is a fun one to play. Um, again, we, we played a mid-range deck where we didn't play the Sultai matchup, which is probably good for us, but we do have a lot for the Sultai matchup. You know, whenever you just sit there and Chupacabra and Hostage Taker all their things and keep copying those, that does get you a long ways. We are kind of bad against finality though like we are really bad against finality because you know we just continue to go wide with our with our really small creatures and one finality uh can mess us up um yeah somebody somebody said they they weren't feeling the 5-0 dream today and remember what i said i, I said you watch out for that esper duplicate deck it's pretty good and there we go hey manual yeah that 
yeah, that worked out pretty well. So, um, we're gonna we're gonna play this one again next time. Uh, I guess Sunday, probably. Yeah, Sunday because tomorrow we're doing our War of the, the Spark set review, and then Saturday we're doing our twelve hour sub battle stream. The uh, sub battle stream is really cool. You know, I just play against subscribers all day. We'll have like a wheel where you get to spin the wheel and see which deck the which deck comes up to play against because I have you know got like a, a whole lot of choices and everything and so it's it's a, a real fun time and everything uh, tomorrow we'll, we'll be going through all of the cards uh, in War of the Spark yeah full set review every single card uh, we'll be going through so that's why yeah, like last time it took like the whole stream time from 3 to 7 like the whole 7 hours or sorry from 3 to 10 uh, we'll be going through each color, you know, one by one, you know, white, blue, black, red, green, multicolor. Um, I'll be giving uh, cards a, a grade A to F of like how I, th what I think it will see, like how much play basically I think it will see in standard or also the limited grade. If it's like a common that's just made for limited, we'll just kind of read the card. That's a, that's a limited common and we'll get the limited grade and we'll move on. Um, so that's going to be on stream tomorrow. So Hope you all are here for that 3 p.m. Eastern here, uh, twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG, if you're watching this later on YouTube. I'll be putting the videos up on YouTube also. Um, yeah, so if you end up missing it, it'll be on YouTube. Yep, going, going tomorrow. All right, but yeah, that's Esper Duplicate. Uh, really strong showing. Next, So then uh, next stream that I'll have is Sunday. Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to be streaming, but next stream where I play decks through leagues or ranked will be Sunday. I feel like we should probably take this one over to the ranked queues. Uh, this one felt pretty good. Felt like it could um, hold its own over there in the ranked queues. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, try it on over there. But there we go. That's Esper Duplicate. If you're watching this video later on on YouTube, 